Yes, welcome back to Blind Artistic mm -hmm. Arts. If you are new to our channel, thanks for chiming in. And if you are a subby, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to Blind Artistic Arts. Yes, Kiara is getting ready for school. You two friends, yes, and she is excited. Say hi, Kiara. Hi. Hi, wave your hands, say hi. All right, hi. let's get on the bus. and on 
on like a Duracell battery. I am telling you, I was ready to attack. I was ready to attack, but it was by God's grace and for that driver to intervene by coming in between us, I did not attack. Don't you ever, don't you ever put your hands around my daughter's neck and try to attempt to slap her because she not sitting back. I heard her. I heard of you two friends as I was running up the stairs, as I was running up them steps to give Kira her lunch. I can hear, sit back, sit back. And as I approached that top stair, I saw it all, court busted. Don't you ever, I'm telling you, you two friends, we have to protect our children. We have to love our children. We are our child's biggest advocate. Before they depart home, check their bodies. When they return home, check their bodies. I don't care who they with. I do not care. Look for change. Look for changes in their behavior. A lot of times, our children give us clues. They honestly give us clues. And for those who are curious as to what happened to that bus aide, yes, she got fired. She was terminated. As it was well deserved. Let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something. Kiara was dropping. And when, and when she heard this lady's voice, I'm telling you, her whole disposition changed. And, and, and like I said, I couldn't put two and two together until I caught her red handed. And I know it was by the grace. Let me show y'all something. These are some, some clues. Some spots where where other people may hurt your child. Okay? They may, they may, you see here at foot, they may try to pinch the bottom of their feet. They might try to pinch their toes. Because a lot of times they trying to hurt our children at places where they don't think we're gonna look. So, like I said, you check out your child, your child's toes, the bottom of their feet, look for knots. Look for bruises. Another area, look behind their ears. I don't want to frustrate here, but I'm going to try to get her up. Look behind their ears. Look at the bottom of their, their earlobe here. Look for, like, bruises. Look for scratches. Because these are some places people will hurt your child. Also, look inside the inner forearm. Look for those areas. Look on the back. Of their knees. Yes. And just overall, look over their bodies, their legs, their arms. Examine their heads for knots. Okay? Examine their legs. Examine their fingers. We have to protect our children. And it's so unfortunate. And it's so sad. And it bewilders me. Says he. Knowing that a lot of Children and, and people with exceptional need don't have a voice and they're defenseless. I mean, when I caught this woman and I saw the look on my daughter's face, she was terrified. She didn't know what to do. She was defenseless. She was absolutely defenseless. And she needed rescuing. And I thank goodness that I got on that bus in the nick of time, in the nick of time. And I am so glad and thankful for that morning. Kiara left for lunch and I was able to jump aboard and catch her red handed. I was able to catch that woman red handed. Says he. Yes, Kiara. You two friends. Words can't express how I feel, how any parent feels. And this is one of my biggest concerns. I fear Kiara. Now, now don't get me wrong. Kiara has a voice. She can't talk, but she can't communicate in depth, in detail. Okay? But there are other, there, but there are other clues 
that she can show me and perhaps your child or loved ones can show you that somebody is mistreating them. And it can be the littlest thing. I mean, the littlest thing that we sometimes often miss because see, sometimes we're often so busy. But okay. we have to look for clues. You have to examine your child's body. Going and coming. We are our child's biggest advocate. Especially when our child has has a, exceptional needs and can't defend themselves or tell us what happened to them, what was said to them. If they're being mistreated uh, mentally, uh, verbally, or physical, or physically, or being attacked, Mom, being Mom, bullied. Mom, or that. Where is the justice? I, 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 I'm a, a dance. I know. I got on this video quite disturbed. And for those returning subbies, you already know. We love you. We appreciate you. You are rock. For those new that's chiming in, don't hesitate to subscribe. Okay? Do not hesitate to subscribe. You already know me and Key ever have a niche. We always sing, but today I don't think I have the energy to sing because I'm frustrated and I am not in the mood. So some videos are exempt from singing our song. But you already know that I love you, my daughter love you, and until the next video. You two friends, you already know. Handle your business, take care of your loved ones. Love them on purpose, with a purpose. There's no one going to love your child and accept your child and take care of your child the way a mom and a dad and that guardian may do. So again, be your child's biggest advocate. Be your child's biggest trusted advocate that's going to love them and defend them unconditionally. Tiara's coming home from school. She is a big girl. Yes. Good job.